And 65 newborn turtles were recently released into the sea in hopes that they will survive into adulthood and increase the turtle population. This initiative was led by turtle conservationists of the Dominica Sea Turtle Conservation Organization, DOMSETCO. Errol Harris, who said it is important that all newborn turtles found on land are released into their natural habitats. These little turtles here are hawksbill turtles. They were actually born at Aquacade, and Mr. Chillingford, who is one of the managers down there, was good enough to collect them from under the lights last night, and we brought them into the forestry department. And we are trying to let them out right now at about 5 o'clock in the afternoon, where they'll go to sea, which is the only place for them. And it's a remarkable thing. That's the problem right now, because when these little turtles hatch, they go to the brightest light, the sea, which they used to do from the beginning of time. But when they started existing, doing those things, there were no street lights. Now they go towards the bright lights, which are on land and not on sea. Harris said out of every thousand turtles that are released into the sea, only one will return every 30 years to lay eggs. Hawksbill turtles feed on algae and organisms that grow on coral reefs.